The electrical grid in Texas is built to provide cheap power, while allowing power providers to increase prices during peak demand. Thursday, the Public Utility Commission is expected to start a shift in purpose to providing reliability. When the process started back in October, Chairman Peter Lake admitted change will come with a cost. And so if we have to show the investor community that we're willing to pay higher prices in the short term to incentivize longer term dispatchable power that will give us the reliable power grid we need, we're willing to stomach that for a short, short period of time. It's not known how much this rebuild will actually cost customers. Essentially, it's a utility meter blind spot. And that's a problem for a panel of energy experts who held an online discussion on Wednesday. It's time to tap the brakes is, is what uh, we're telling the commission. That pause, according to the panel, would give the PUC an opportunity to answer several questions like how much power generators will spend on winterization, how local utilities will pay outstanding debts for the power purchased during peak pricing periods in February, and how much will be passed on to customers. One estimate of a 3% increase generated a lot of doubt. Take these numbers to indicate that we have no idea what the hell these costs are going to be. And that, should, that scares us, and it should scare you, and it should scare other Texans. The PUC is not expected to make a final decision Thursday, but the drafting of rules could start. A reworking of wholesale pricing, requiring utilities to purchase blocks of electricity in advance of peak demand, requiring backup power sources, and new charges on renewable energy, things classified as ancillary services. Ancillary services is kind of like a pacemaker um, for the electric grid. And um, they're there as a backup service. Um, when the electric grid starts to experience some problems, maybe there's some reliability issues, a, a power plant trips offline or the frequency drops a little bit low, um, the ancillary services jump in to help resolve those problems. The panel also brought up a study that encouraged helping homeowners become more energy efficient. They use four times as much power at 14 degrees Fahrenheit than a house uses to be cooled in the summer at 100 degrees. Four times as much in the winter at 14, and it was a lot colder at 14. If we don't solve that problem, this problem doesn't get solved. For the panel, a quick fix could have unintended consequences. Uh, complicated systems fail in complicated ways, and they owe it to the world's ninth largest economy to take a deep breath and start committing to serious, thoughtful, extraordinarily com integrative and comprehensive analysis to help us understand where we go next.